came down here this morning to catch something for the Alliston Salmon Competition. Keep watching, we'll show you what we caught and how we caught it. We wanted to be fishing as soon as possible after sunrise so it was still dark when we headed off. In fact it was minus one when we were in the car. Boy, we must be keen. We'd bought a ticket in the Elliston Australian Salmon Fishing Championship and we were hoping that we'd catch a fish big enough to enter. So my line and rig were much heavier than I would usually use, overkill really, for catching Australian salmon, but I wanted the confidence of knowing that if I caught a big fish, I wasn't going to have any rig fails. For bait, I was using salmon that I'd caught a few days before and salted, which was fantastic. It stayed on the hook really well. The only trouble was that I'd not scaled the fish and it was very large fish, so I had trouble getting my hook through the skin. It didn't help either that my fingers were so cold. And check out my snow. Yeah. That's not going anywhere. I'm using my Pen Skin okay. Fisher Surf Rod, which is perfect for these conditions, nice and sturdy, and I know that it'll be able Don't to handle to any big fish far. that I might be lucky enough to catch. So I've got all the gear. Now all I need is a bit of luck. Okay, a lot of luck. The fish started biting straight away. Yeah, it just hopped on. You on? Hey? You on? Yeah, I think it stayed on. Yeah, it feels like I'm on. Yeah. <laughs> It's not that big, but... It was no champion fish, that's for sure. Still good. <laughs> I love salmon, how they fling themselves out of the water. <laughs> we need lots of food and dog food and... Yep. We need lots today. We usually only fish to catch dinner for a couple of nights but we were after a lot more fish than that today. Our freezer was empty and our bait stocks had run out. Ooh. Boiling Down Beach is about 40 minutes from Elliston and about two and a half hours from Port Lincoln. It's a small beach that sits between the cliffs of the car park and the start of Talia Beach in the National Park. Talia Beach is a vast exposed piece of coastline that can be wild in winter. Boiling Down Beach can be wild as well but it is protected from a northerly wind by those cliffs. We were fishing close to the main car park, just in front of where the first track comes out onto the beach. So I made the mistake of not having my drag set right. Break my rig. Second cast, second lost rig. I'm going for a bigger swivel this time. This one says a restraining weight of 38 kilograms. I don't know what the last one was. 38 kilograms, that's huge. Today we're using the fresh Tommies that we caught at Moore's boat ramp yesterday. Martin's also using a much heavier rig than he would normally have on to catch salmon. We'll be trying to catch gummy sharks soon, so our main lines are set up for that. But yeah, overkill for catching salmon, but that's okay. The fishing um, app today said that the best fishing time is between 7.20 and 9.20 a.m. What's the time now? I don't know, I reckon maybe 8.30.
the fish must have heard that because straight away Martin got a bite. sizes in this um, out here today. Very nice. Hey. <laughs> After losing two rigs you kept one and a on. fish, I Yay. finally kept one on. <laughs> okay, that's, that's on the keeper hook, not on the big hook. I'm wondering if our hooks are too big, but we're here to catch big fish, so I want big hooks. Not a bad fish that one. It's a bite. Yeah, it's a bite. It's not a huge one. I love these bigger fish. I can see it in the water. Watch this way. It's not, it's not a huge one. By any means. It's just a very lively one. Nice. The sink is so heavy, you know, it feels like a bigger fish. getting smaller the rag Nice one. Yours is bigger than mine. Oh well. Come <laughs> on Martin, better lift your game. This one's going back. The road to the beach that comes past Talia Caves is a dirt road in really good condition. So you'll only need a two wheel drive for that one. There is a four wheel drive only track that runs behind the sand dunes all the way along past Talia Beach. And there's a number of access points along that track. The first access point takes you to Boiling Down Beach. We pulled in there to have a look and we could see that cars had been driving right up through the dunes onto the beach. It looked really boggy. We were traveling by ourselves and there was nobody around. So for us, it just wasn't worth the risk of getting bogged. The other way down onto Boiling Down Beach is from the top car park. There's a bit of a track that runs down from the car park area. It's a bit slippery in places, but it's not that far down. This is a good option if you don't have a four wheel drive. This is a remote beach, so there's definitely no toilets or shops or fish cleaning facilities. So come prepared. Look at that nice big wave. Yeah, it's not a big fish. Martin. 
Nice. Yeah, that's... And what hooks are on? That's a yummy, yummy See, it's on the keeper sauce. hook again. Yeah, well, that's a much smaller fish, though. Like, you, that's a small fish. Well... Small, small, in, yeah. small in your standards. Yeah, look out, you're going to fall over my thing. Perfect for eating though, this is great. We've got some excellent fish already. I think you're, you just keep bouncing around. Oh yeah, I'm on. You're on too, yeah. I thought he was, it's like, been moving for a while. Maybe it's a bit bigger this time. That ain't. Look out, you're going to get wet feet. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. That's a good one, Martin. That's that flung itself out of the water. Look, it's really fighting him. Look at that. Oh yeah. It's a big one. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> That's a nice one. Oh, he didn't want to come in. Nice one. This one's caught on the size mm. 4A hook. See, it's a bigger <laughs> fish. Let's see it here. Okay. That's about 64, 65. Nice looking fish. Sixty-four centimeters. Beautiful. He just, oh yeah, <laughs> look at them all. <laughs> that was amazing how that you could see that one swimming around. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? It was. Whew. I'm in a tangle. After that one, sometimes it's easy just to take the rig off. God, what a mess! Double, Double header. header. <laughs> oh, nice. Back to my mess. Nearly there. Wow, this is an awesome session. So it's not even nine o'clock, Martin, and we've, we've caught a lot of fish. I thought it was like seven, seven o'clock. Yeah. So that early morning work this time. It worked this time. But I tell you, this salted salmon that I made two days ago, it's fantastic. It's like, it doesn't come off. No. Uh, it's fresh tummy staying on. Yeah. Because well, the skin's good. as tough as old boots. Yeah. 
So another essential is to bring something to eat. Because I get starving, I can't last a whole day without any food when you're running around like this. Lettuce, baby spinach, tomato, pickles, cheese, salt and pepper. We were going to have bacon and eggs, but then we realised we hadn't done the shopping. We only had one egg. It was a beautiful winter's morning. We were fishing in low tide. There was just a gentle breeze. Only problem was, it was so cold. Most of the time that we were there, it was barely over zero. And the ocean was steaming. It was just stunning. So how are you liking your new reel, Linda? Oh, it's fantastic. So much easier to bring fish in using this reel. It does it easy. So we bought, recently just bought these reels. So there's a pen reel. This is mine over here. Pen reel. Spin fisher. These are a bit big probably for what we really need. Seven and a half thousand. But we found the six thousand wasn't really big enough for us. We were struggling winding fish in, weren't we? Yeah, and that and like just then. Like that fish was probably, you know, four kilos or something. That was so easy. That was so easy to bring in. Yeah. Whereas before, I was just having trouble even turning the thing when the fish were bigger. So it's definitely worth getting a heavy, heavier gear for those kinds of fish, I think. I found with the, um, with the other reels, the handle feels like it's going to snap off. Yeah, that's right. Not a bite. <laughs> Just move. So your line left unattended needs mended. <laughs> Martin's getting tangles today. That's a mess. I'm one of those days. Oh my giddy arm. Keep the hooks looking a bit sad. There we go. It's just fine. goes through the corner of their mouths. They're excellent. It's a very nice fish. Oh. Has, a, has a new sinker. It's brilliant, but yet, like I was saying, you can't feel hardly anything, any movement. My sinker kept getting tangled with my bottom hooks. That's definitely a disadvantage of a claw sinker in turbulent water. It's pretty heavy to cast out. <laughs> like when I'm when I'm standing here with my line in. It's like you just feel a slight thud of your sinker lifting, just a slight movement when you get your bite. It's just to think, wow, that's a heavy sinker to move. The advantages of that sinker is it grips in the sand and it doesn't move around. The disadvantages is that one's very heavy, 
so you are just saying you can't feel what's going nah. on? No, and like I've got very thick line and everything as well. So the whole thing's super heavy. So yeah, my sink is like a medium sized star sinker. Yeah. So it is moving around a bit. Yeah. Well mine's anchored very solidly. And it's like... Well, the other disadvantage is it's actually harder to reel in, isn't it? Yeah. And it's, it's just more weight when you've got a fish to bring in that's thrashing around. Yeah. Mm. I just realised I can feel my fingers again. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thawing. Sun's coming. My face is starting to feel unthawed. So you can see there's waves breaking out here. There's a bit of a sandbar there. And as the waves come in, they get smaller and smaller because there's a trough here. And then it gets through the trough and then the waves will break on the shore again, just like that. Because it's, it's deep here, but a little bit shallower out here. So it goes deep, shallow, deep. And the fish swim along here. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, look at it in the wave over there. You can see it in the wave. Yeah. It's another nice one. It's another nice one. Wow, Martin. Whew. It's gorgeous. Here's me worrying that we're not going to be able to catch enough fish because we need a lot of fish today. We've, been, we've actually caught so many. That's yeah, good, isn't it? It's really good. What do you need, guys? Yes, please. The circle hooks are fantastic, aren't they? How they just pop in the side of the mouth like that. So, yeah, so that one's caught on the uh, size 4 circle hook, which I've said before is designed to catch them in the corner of their mouth, not go down their throat. I don't know how they figured that out. It's perfect. But it's worked, it's done exactly what it said it should. It's so easy to get the hook out. So it's easy if you're going oh, to release them. Easy. Yeah. And it doesn't and get lodged in their stomach. That's right. So the idea is they come out easy, you don't damage your fish and you can put them back. Yeah. But this time we're not putting it back. No, we're keeping them. Sorry, and you also buddy. don't bust your hooks trying to get the thing out. It's your unlucky day. Yeah, and you don't, that's right, you don't break your hooks. Yeah. That's a nice fish. Nice. So what do you think of your jacket? I love my jacket. I would have been so, so cold this morning without this jacket. So what do you like about your jacket? Well, you don't feel any wind through it. It's just toasty. Yeah, they're good, aren't it's they? It's a bit hard because you feel like you haven't got a lot of flexibility when you're fishing. But they're quite heavy, aren't they? They're not light jackets. Oh, they're very heavy. Yeah. Lift, they're so lift. well made. I love it. Lift you up. And like this morning when it was like zero, when we were first fishing, uh, any bit of me inside the jacket was fine. It was my face and my hands. That was yeah. the problem. 
lovely. So you got your neck warmer on as well. Yeah. I was just saying that's a must in this weather. Oh, it's fantastic. I'm also wearing thermal pants and neoprene shoes just to keep the toasty warm. Fishing in winter is much more enjoyable if you dress for it. A drip. Well, I'm nice and warm now, so I'm going to go and take this jacket off. Yay. If you're enjoying this video, please like it. Subscribe to see more of our videos. Click the bell and you'll be notified when we release a new one. Wow, these fish just keep on coming. These ocean beaches where you catch salmon always seem to have really coarse, soft sand that make it such a workout. And this beach has so much shell grit. It's incredible. Nice little one. Yeah. That one can go back. Can go back. Off he goes. You can't get too close on this beach because you'll end up in the water. No, you can't see on camera how steep it is. Yeah, it really, really slopes down and the waves rush up, so you've got to be real careful. And they're big waves. Yeah, they are. There's a lot of undertow. So this is the moment when I caught the fish that won the Elliston Australian Salmon Fishing Championship in 2023 and it won me $2,000. Wow. Straight away I knew it was a big fish because it grabbed my line and it just took off with it. There was no stopping it. At one point I was scared that I might run out of line but I knew I should let it go and wear itself out a bit before I tried reeling it in. Otherwise, I might lose that fish. Eventually, I was able to start reeling it in. There's always that moment when you're coming in onto the shore with the undertow pulling backwards and working against the action of the waves. You've got to be so careful that the fish doesn't throw the hook. But it stayed on. I couldn't believe it, but I managed to land that fish. What a rush! Looks like we're going to Elliston. Looks like we're going to Elliston. Massive. That is a fish. <laughs> <laughs> About 78, I reckon. So there you go. I was well prepared, but I also had luck on my side that day.
If you'd like to know more about how the Australian Salmon Competition works, watch our video. See the link in the description below. Right. Catching these amazing fish is such good fun. So we're going to have to drive to Alliston to put our fish into the competition. <laughs> So we planned to get here early because we knew the fish would be here early. We had salted salmon bait, fresh tommies, caught fish on both, you got your PB salmon. It's a seven out of eight fish activity day, which is a really good day. And it was true. We actually caught about, I don't know, 14 fish in the space of an hour and a bit. So that's it. What a fantastic day. This is Fishing Sister saying goodbye.